last videos of this season just because it is coming into the winter and during the winter you really can't do too much most stuff is coated in snow uh, this is bed bath and beyond and it looks straight up like garbage so we're gonna move to the next place this camera lens just keeps getting dirty all the time. It's kind of hard to keep it clean for a, for a phone. Yeah. Oh, since it's located on the back, your hand touches it all the time, kind of smudges it. Woo! It's still kind of blurry though. Again. That seems a little better. There we go. It just needs time to focus, I guess. Alright, we're gonna go check out uh, TJ Maxx and Barnes and Nobles and a whole bunch of fun stuff. Babe, babe's pregnant. So, how long was I sleep? Like a week and a half. <laughs> right there. It, it was like a couple hours. The truck right here. Yeah, the truck is always here every time we come now because we decide to come right around noon instead of like better time periods of the day. Babe gets impatient and just wants to leave. Which I fully understand that. I like getting out of the house too. You can't even check Barnes and Nobles. Yeah. There they are. I'm blocking the two good places. Yeah. So we can check out a Tuesday morning. Yeah. Bow. Bow. Sorry guys, I know we don't have like, you know, the best camera equipment and the best uh, microphones and stuff, but, you know, we work with what we got. This is a uh, Ulta. And I'm not really sure what that is. It's like a eyebrow case kit thing. They found some testers. Wonder what's over here. Laser gent printer thing. Man, it's not in there. Oh, I brought those. Huh. There's another thing down here. Give me brow. Oh man, look at that! All from the side of the dumpster. Here. Wow. Another eyebrow tester thing. What's this stuff under here? Oh, just stuff that's hooked to it. You don't want this? No, nothing. Asphalt. Most of the time, this dumpster doesn't have much, and a lot of stuff in it's usually destroyed or disgusting. Ooh, another one. Ooh, another thing. Oh. Nor do I care. It's makeup. I have no use for the makeup. So this channel basically is just to kind of show you guys, you know, what kind of stuff people throw out. Uh, most of the time it is legitimate garbage. 
like kind of what we're finding right now. Just garbage and testers. Uh, every once in a while you find some good stuff, but this one doesn't look like it's going to pan out. So I'm going to check in this one. This one's been empty lately. Hmm. There's actually some stuff, but it does not look like anything worth getting in there for. It's like a empty container of sorts to like hold stuff maybe. Uh, let's see, this one is a Tuesday morning. Which, uh, Looks all like trash aside from that chair there. Possibly those hangers in that box. So this one could have some stuff in it. I think it's worth checking out. You know, see if Babe here can hold on to the uh phone while I do this, just so I can show you. You know, hold on to the phone while I get that chair and stuff? Is it still in there? Yeah. Oh. Not in there? Makeup in here, but it doesn't look like it just looks messy. Let's see. Messy makeup. Hold on, this is messy makeup. If it is, it's too buried. What was that? Could clean off, but it's no real point. It uh, usually takes forever to clean, and then on top of it, babe usually doesn't end up keeping any of it. <laughs> but that was Ulta. No, last time we cleaned out a bag like that, though, you uh, threw everything out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's usually like ruined the point of not not really wanting to keep it for anything oh, there's this gigantic bump back here and they What's that dumpster right here? I don't know looks like cardboard it is cardboard only babe's not watching the road, watch the road. people are gonna drive right into us our car is crying <laughs> Our car is like, <laughs> Babe loves coming to Pet Smart. You know, honestly, people, uh, people do put stuff in there sometimes. Boxes. And food. There's food up in there. Which means five guys are still using the same dumpster as uh, five below. Which uh, really stinks.
We did find a speaker yesterday, so hopefully that works. I've turned the big black thing on base and it works. Yeah, it turns on at least, right? Is this pet smart? Was. Well, maybe still is. I don't know. Are you going to look at it? Might as well. Alright, guys. Alright, checking this pet smart dumpster really quick. I don't believe there's anything. Uh, there's a couple things in there. What's this thing? No, it's empty. There's some stuff coated in snow. Not really worth getting because of it. Stuff in it? Yeah, but it's all wet and coated in snow. It's like pillows and stuff that are ruined and stained. I think uh, Five Below was throwing their stuff in there. Nowhere. In that one. There's like an Airheads box and stuff. Oh, it'll be all the way over there, though. Who knows? Let's go to Michael's and stuff. No Dollar Tree? I mean, pretty soon we're going to be able to buy, like, the entire store of Dollar Tree, so I'm not really that worried about it. Plus, we have yeah, all the essentials that we need. Job, so. it's, it's not a good job. No, it's it's just a very long hours job so i'm going to be working we'll like we'll 72 80 stuff. hours a week but i'll be getting like a thousand a week take home so i mean the loss of sleep or any personal time whatsoever for money i guess is okay and just constant work Will without ever real though? breaks <laughs> but it's worth it i mean you know in all honesty if we could have uh had over you know a thousand subscribers by now uh, we would just continue to just make videos and grow our channel which we're still gonna do uh, but I, I know it's gonna be probably a significant amount less videos just due to the fact that I'm gonna be at work like the entire time I'm awake uh, I'm still gonna probably maybe do some, so... Yeah, Babe's gonna make some videos, and I'll, I'll have to spend some of my time awake, like, editing videos and stuff for and putting them on, but, you know, I mean, here pretty soon also, uh, after we do that, and I start getting enough money to be able to fund stuff, you know, like getting a real camera, uh, you know, maybe, like, clip-on microphones so people can hear us even when we're away from the camera. Even a little thing that goes on your uh, head. I need to uh, upgrade my laptop, that way I can actually, you know, make videos. Uh, the, the editing tools they have for YouTube on your cell phone are very few and far, unless you pay for it, or if you have an iPhone. Uh, on an Android, they, you know, like, even when you're putting in tags, there's no suggested tags, there's like, you can't do the whole video editing process of what you can do on YouTube on your phone. And it, uh, you know, it's kind of crappy in my opinion because I basically have a handheld computer and they can't do the same options as what they can on a computer for some unknown reason. I, I don't know, maybe I have to go through the browser and do it that way, but it may actually be a good idea. I should try that later on. Uh, so you guys may see some edits to videos a little later today if I can actually do that. Because through the YouTube app, and uh, the YouTube Studio app, you can't do the editing that you can do on a, you know, through the actual website of YouTube when you go to it on a computer. I guess that's what I mean. So if I can do that through, uh, you know, the actual internet on my phone, like going through Google search and like going to YouTube, and it doesn't try to automatically throw me to the app like it always does, which is kind of annoying as well, uh, then yeah. Uh, hopefully I can edit that way, because uh, it, it's been kind of a struggle. I mean, you find like free editing apps, and they're okay, but they're not the same. Uh, not unless you get like an entire program, and you know, apps are different than programs. 
Uh, this is Michael's. Oh my god. Does he have a head? His face is gone. We can make a face for him, why not? Let's make faces for these guys. These are pretty cool. <laughs> like little clown things. Giselle's got a birthday coming up, so maybe we can use those for a birthday party some way. Oh my god, babe. There's tons of these. Yeah, but they're broke. What is that? Awesome. Sorry guys. I know I got you shoved right into the box and stuff, but there's glitter crayon palettes and stuff. It's pretty sick. This is still from our last trip here. Not really sure why it's still in the car. Yeah, now there's snow getting on everything. This was a tool belt I found. Cobalt. Thought that was pretty cool. Gotta situate stuff to try to get it to fit in here. Oh man. Stepped in a puddle of water. Here. This is pretty cool. Use this for next Halloween. Looks like you can shove a light bulb up under it. So part of it's missing, but whatever. I would say a candle, but it's no, it's not glass, it's plastic. Another thing of them? More crayon palette things with snow in them. snow all on the inside of our car now. It's one of the reasons I don't like doing it during winter. It's all busted. So is that one. The frame itself is cool, but... There's more of them all busted. That sucks. I think that's probably it. Do you want that little flower? Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't even have the whole stem. Yeah, it looks like pretty much it. The rest of it looks like it was here before. Watch out, there's glass right there. Alright. Come on, babe. Come on. You're gonna have to pick me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My back. <laughs> Babe just dropped 190 pounds on me. <laughs> and her booby. Mm -hmm. Which are like 20 pounds a piece. At least we found out those box of crayons. Yeah, those things are cool. Crayon pallets. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I know that we don't like stick around and go through everything really slowly like most people do. We're just trying to get out of there because anybody yeah. could just come out. Anybody could just come out and we really don't want to get stuff. caught. You know, I, I mean, yeah, we don't want to have to deal with that kind of thing, and we haven't got caught yet from anybody. Well, Babe did once, but and she was like, she was like, well, it's going in the trash, so I can't, I can't do anything. You know? Yeah. There's nothing we can do. I can do. 
So, I don't know. She looked like she was still trying to turn left with her left turn signal on. Whew. All right. So we're going to check over at uh, like GameStop and all that really quick. Uh, then we're probably going to maybe check Best Buy again. I really don't know. I'm going to go over I hope that truck's gone. And then I'll go back over there and then we can go back home. Yeah, then we can go back to uh, TJ Maxx and uh, we, yeah. Barnes and Nobles. Uh, the truck was there. We, you know, we don't want to go while they're there. I mean, we'll be looking at you like, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah, they'll just look at y'all crazy. Come on! What are know. you guys doing? That's illegal. No, if you knew anything about your laws, they passed a law back in like 1984 or 86 stating that anybody that uh, put their trash outside in the trash is now local property as long as it's not in an area that says no trespassing or private property. And although people are like, oh, well, those are businesses. That is private property. Well, it's not labeled. And since it's not labeled as private property and it doesn't say no trespassing, it's still fully legal until they do what they're supposed to do, which is label it private. Like, babe, don't right. worry about it. I'm just trying to think how you She's trying to drive with no hands, worrying about makeup that we just got. So if you guys ever wonder how we died, that is probably why. <laughs> They can't go. The traffic's not letting them go. Time to go. People in Michigan are like amazingly brilliant at spacing out their cars perfectly to not let anybody go in a turn. Like they perfectly space out their cars. And it could be summer and they still do it. No rain, no slickness whatsoever. Because I, I know what some of you were thinking is, oh, they need the space in case they slip, you know, in the winter. In the winter, that's true and that's totally fine and very safe and respected. But not during the summer. In the summer, I don't care. I don't want to go to Watson's. We never find anything. Never find anything at GameStop either, but who cares? This truck is not directly at the place of where we're going. Therefore, I don't give a poo. GameStop again to see if there's anything. There could be, but it is all coated in snow, so I wouldn't really know. And I mean straight coated in snow. This is, at least I can do this. Watch this. Oh my god, babe! <laughs> oh, I just scared the crap out of her. It got tight. <laughs> Your stomach's already tight. See, look, why well, I gotta be I can't even get through there. Yep. Now we're being teamed up against. Look at that. They blocked the whole way. Yeah, we don't even need to go down there. Oh, it's in that big one. Sorry guys. So far, uh, today does not look promising. I think we are out too early. Uh, let's go back by Bed Bath and Beyond and all that crap, see if they're gone, and if not, I guess we can go home and come back out later and make a part two to this video. So currently, we're going to go back over to uh, Barnes and Nobles and TJ Maxx, and I really don't want to go to Dollar Tree. Babe just wants to go there to find anything at all today. To me, it's a waste of time because it's dollar item junk, 
that uh, we usually just fill up the house with and have no use for and never get rid of. Uh, the only thing we've ever had use for that we've got there has been body soap and cologne. Other than that, everything has almost been totally useless no. other than tiny little baskets. Yeah, I guess if we find holiday stuff, we can use that too, but I mean, by the time Christmas comes, oh. I'll have already got like a couple paychecks, we'll be good, we can actually get good holiday stuff. Uh, I mean, not saying the Dollar Tree stuff isn't good, just saying like if you do find like Christmas lights, they're like two feet long, like you gotta buy like eight packages of them anyway, and at that point you might as well have gone to a store. Yeah, like Walmart and bought a 20 foot roll for like six bucks. So it's actually cheaper if you bought the longer ones instead of the tiny ones. Like, you know, gotta, gotta know your math, you know, think with your head. Uh, I know a lot of people, uh, you know, you go to Dollar Tree for, say, like canned vegetables and stuff, or like tortillas or bread. But when you actually go to the store, you realize that most of those things are actually only like 50 to 80 cents. So, you're actually getting overcharged on some of the products there, and then other stuff, you know, like porcelain plates and stuff like that, that's only a dollar. That's where you're actually, like, earning... Oh, okay, you want to go to the back? I forgot. <laughs> I'm trying to, go like, actually go to Dollar Tree. Like, oh, why are we passing up the... We, we don't. <laughs> I just heard Dollar Tree and got thrown off track that we're going to the dumpster and not actually Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Eh, we're at Dollar Tree. Let's see what kind of cheap stuff we can find. Maybe this time, because we haven't found anything the past couple times, really. Maybe this time we can find stuff, you know, like soap and you know, stuff that we can actually use. I mean, I don't know. I don't take food from the dumpster. Uh, I think it's because you're pregnant. It's because you're pregnant. Mm, this looks like a lot of actual garbage. It's like just nasty mess. Yeah, it's like soaking it's wet. Soaking. Like empty stuff, a single mitten, car charger, port. Is that dumb right there? I don't know. It's that kinetic sand stuff. Yeah. Giselle likes that. No. It's she got, has enough of it. Yeah, she does. Some opened fig bars. You guys want some of those? Yeah. Oh, there you go, baby. There you go. Oh, nail polish. Nail polish. On the end of a broom. I think I see a light or something right there. Maybe Christmas ornaments. Right there. Under that box of pasta. Right there. Oh, my stomach. Yeah, Christmas ornaments. Yeah, she pretzels, pops again. It's up to you. Here, take this stuff though. Ugh, something exploded. All these have the lids on tight. Yeah. One step wonder gel. If you guys know what one step wonder gel is, let us know. This is new shade, top as a joke. I don't really get it. Oh, sweet, let's just put stuff in there. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to put stuff in while I just hold it, because I can't record and put stuff in at the same time. No, I was talking about me holding the bag, but you just putting stuff in it. But I can't open the bag. I just have to kind of go like this with it. Hey, baby bed. We can use a baby bed.
Nice. Coffee mug cup things. Thermoses. Very nice. Another one. So now we have like 8,000 of them. Yeah. I see another one right in front of you, right there. Another coffee thermos. Another coffee thermos. Another coffee thermos. No, we really don't need this. <coughs> awesome. Yeah, some socks, yo. Like, look at this. Nothing's wrong with those socks. Got some snow on them, but. Pretty sure I'll get a lot of snow on my socks anyway. Ew, no. I see like a holiday bucket back there. Oh no, it looks like a bag for uh. Never mind, it looks like a box for candy canes. Sorry guys, if you see the camera shaking, I gotta pee really bad. Kind of doing the pee pee dance. Top of our lids, but we need the bottoms to them, otherwise, they're useless. Hey, Christmas lights. We don't need the lids. Nice. Has candy in it. Yeah. Christmas gift presents. Babel use this thing, that's for sure. Find some kind of holiday thing to do with it. Look at this, it's our own little Dollar Tree grab bag. Oh joy to the world, just all make tons of noise with a bell. That one's missing the actual bell piece. That one's not, I don't think. Oh, snowman! <laughs> I think those are the bottoms, maybe? Oh, no. Yeah. One lid for two containers. <coughs> gloves? Dumpster diving gloves. <laughs> yeah. There we go, finally, guys. Too bad we can't find the other blue glove. Hey, what's that little dinosaur thingy? Get that little guy. Halloween. Yeah. That's fine. We don't need cards. We got like a billion cards. What's up with this little guy? What's up with this guy? What's up with that guy? Little scarecrow guy. It's pretty cool. One good cup. What is that? No idea what this is. I don't know what we need to use it for, but we'll take it anyway for no reason. A couple bowls with a crack in them. So. And our grab bag is full. This should be the end of our trip. The babe wants to stay in dumpsters. <laughs> so I will go all the way back to the car and back. Just because. Total bust. We got our whole back seat full. So I mean, nothing wrong with that, really. Really don't know.
Hey you, what are you doing in there? What, what are you doing? Got you on camera. Got you on camera. Maybe there's another box of stuff we're not gonna use. All right, babe, let's go. Let's go get some good stuff from like TJ Maxx and stuff. Plus there's only 15% battery remaining. And I hear somebody in here. Hey, babe. Hello. Crap freeze. All right, we'll we'll be back later, guys.